Welcome to our part three series of Java programming. And in this particular video tutorial, I will just give you an outline of what we are going to cover in our part three series as we progress to the more advanced concept in, concepts in Java programming. So in this part three series, our main objectives uh, shall be we we shall be looking at what is uh, the primitive data types and what data types are generally in a programming language after explaining what data types are we are going to look at what operations can we perform on these particular data types and how can we form complex data types using what we call the primitive uh, 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 the primitive uh, data types also on on the same concept we shall be looking at what are the possible operations that you can uh, perform on the various uh, data types that we shall be looking at then uh, objective number two of course shall be looking at what uh, uh, literals are in a programming language and here we shall be concentrating ourselves on what we call the java programming uh, language we shall look at the concept of uh, uh, of uh, a variable in initialization and we shall until that time we shall define then what is in initialization of uh, uh, variables remember previously we have defined a variable as a container which is used to uh, hold a given uh, value and we saw how you can declare a variable uh, but in this particular uh, uh, tutorial series we are going to look at uh, how you initialize uh, these are uh, variables also we shall learn about the scope of uh, the various uh, variables uh, within methods and also possibly we shall look at uh, classes but majorly in this part three series we shall concentrate ourselves how the scope behaves in uh, uh, methods but as we move to the more advanced levels, we shall also look at the various scopes we have uh, as uh, pertains to the class. Then we shall look at the various arithmetic operators that we have, which help us perform various uh, functions using uh, various operations, I mean, using the variables and the primitive data types that is why i told you when we are going to look at first when we look at the concept of the primitive data types and understand it then we shall be in a position to know which uh, arithmetic operators and operations we are able to apply to these uh, various data types we shall have uh, looked at here then we proceed to look at the, the relational and logical operators uh, we shall define the key things here what are relational operators and the uh, logical operators then we look at the short and assignments we shall look at uh, what that means uh, remember uh, when you are doing initialize this concept here it is the one which is yielding this concept uh, our objective number seven the short and assignments after looking at this then uh, looking at it into greater depth we shall look at how now we can use some various short and assignments in uh, dealing with the operators and also the variables coupled together with the concept of uh, data types also we shall look at the concept to understand the uh, basic concept of what we call type conversion 
we shall have looked at the various uh, primitive data types and also hopefully the complex data types. Uh, then we shall see how do you convert between the various data types we shall have looked at. Then there is what we call casting of incompatible uh, data types. For now, I'm not going to uh, cons uh, to give you the details of it, but then understand that I, this is as a result of you looking at the what is uh, data types, uh, having understood the concept of variables, having understood the uh, the concept of arithmetic operators and relational operators. Then we shall look at how do you now cast this to different data types. Finally, uh, but not least, in our uh, list of the part three series of Java programming language, we shall be looking at what we call type conversion in expressions. So we, all this is dependent on the key concept of uh, data types and uh, variables. That is why I'm uh, emphasizing that you must understand the concept and uh, of variables and uh, data types. That is why you saw in our previous video tutorials, we took uh, our, our uh, great time looking at the concept of variables and how it applies to Java programming language. So at this particular level, I hope that uh, in uh, the part one and part two series of our Java programming, you by now you should be comfortable with what is a variable. Uh, now we, I will introduce the concept of data types. As you can see, it, this uh, video tutorial series, uh, they build upon the previous video tutorial series. So it is recommended that it, whenever you are not comfortable with uh, the series that uh, comes along, just refer to the previous uh, uh, video sections uh, and then you will get to understand what is going on in the upcoming uh, video tutorials. Therefore, here uh, we, shall be, uh, we shall look at uh, the concept of uh, type conversion in uh, expressions. Therefore, we shall have looked at the concept of um, typecasting, hopefully. Then we look at how do you form the expressions. Until then, I would like to thank you for taking your time to subscribe to this particular channel. And if you have not done so, please consider subscribing. Also, share with your friends. And if you've got any concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will dedicate my time to respond to them. Uh, thank you for watching.